the another type of diode is pain junction diode is Jenner diode. The difference between the Jenner diode and the pain junction diode is pain junction diode is operating in forward vas condition and uh, this Jenner diode is not only operating in forward, it is also operating in the reverse biased condition and when it is operated in the reverse biased condition, at that time, Jenner diode is act as a voltage regulator circuit. Then voltage regulator circuit means, <coughs> sometimes there is a fluctuation in the voltage either input or output stage so at that time if the voltage is fluctuating at the output side we will not get a it is not possible to read uh, the voltage properly so to avoid fluctuating and one more thing if any variation is fluctuating at that time it affects bad bad effects on the instruments so to avoid these things or to avoid this fluctu fluctuation in the voltages, so we are using the voltage regulator circuit as a Jenner diode as a voltage regulator circuit. So voltage regulator means it maintains the output voltage constant without any variation, without any loss in the voltage. So this Jenner diode is act as a voltage regulator in the reverse characteristics. It's a reverse characteristics. So this is the symbol, the symbol of Jenner diode. Actually, it is a positive sign and it is a negative sign. <coughs> so this is a circuit when we use it as a voltage regulator. In voltage regulator, our aim is to whatever the voltage across the RL or voltage across this Jenner diode, so it is totally constant. Vz is equal to constant. So if you want to perform this is as a voltage regulator, so first you keep V in as a constant and vary the load resistance RL. And in second case, keep V in vary the V in voltage and keep R in constant. So by applying these two cases, so we can use the Jenner diode is used as a voltage regulator circuit. So uh, from this basic circuit of Jenner regulator circuit, we have some equations, current equation, I is equal to V in minus Vz by R. So this I is a total current of Jenner and load current. So one more thing, now we will discuss the operation of this Jenner diode as a voltage regulator circuit and uh, at present this Jenner diode is connected in the reverse characteristics. Actually uh, this becomes negative and this becomes positive. Okay. So this Jenner diode is connected or inserted in the reverse biasing condition so when and one more thing so we are consider v in as a unregulated unregulated means not constant not constant so from this circuit our aim is to get the output voltage in constant level without any fluctuating without any variation so when we apply v in that we need DC DC level. So at that time the current, the total current I is flowing through the resistance R and when the current comes at this point, so that current is divided into two. So one current is flowing towards the Jenner diode, another current is flowing towards the load resistance. And after that, when the load Register when the load current is flowing towards the load register at that time. So we get some amount of voltage across the Jenner diode. Then 
when the general current is flowing towards this generator at that time the vz is equal to v not so this is indicates constant so when v not is equal to vz becomes at that time so we can get the output voltage is constant so vz is a general voltage so when v not is equal to vz so at that time we can say that v not is a constant level and already told that uh, this circuit is performed by two different cases one is keep v in constant and vary rl and uh, vary v in and keep rl constant so these are the some design values to calculate r maximum r minimum then i z maximum so v in minimum means minimum input voltage v in maximum means maximum input voltage vz is indicate general voltage that means voltage across the general diode and one more parameter pd power dissipation divided by vz so these are all the calculated to calculate the parameters resistor general current next the very important thing is uh, when it is act as a voltage regulator circuit so at that time i already told that the general diode is having the same characteristics like uh, pn junction diode in case of forward bias region but in case of reverse bias region pn junction is not like a general diode the injection is totally off state but in reverse characteristics in reverse bias region the general diode is act as a voltage regulator circuit so at this level at this level both reverse voltage and reverse current are zero level as you apply as you increase the reverse voltage up to certain level to certain level means this point from zero level to this point this point still the reverse current is zero very small amount and from this point to from this point to this point from this point to this point from this point to this point the reverse current is increases but there is no variation in the reverse current from this point to this point reverse voltage is increases but there is no increment in the reverse current and that particular current is called as the reverse saturation current that particular current is called as the reverse saturation current and as the reverse voltage increases suddenly there is an increment in the reverse current like this in this sudden increment in the reverse current we are classified into two currents minimum ij and maximum ij okay so when the reverse current is in between these two parameters ij and minimum and ij and maximum so at that time whatever we are using the general diode is used as a voltage regulator circuit for example if the reverse current is below ij minimum or if the reverse current is crosses the ij maximum at that time the general diode is not act as a voltage regulator if reverse current is less than ij minimum it is not used it is not to maintain the output voltage constant if the reverse current crosses the ij maximum the diode comes under damaged condition so always we have to maintain this reverse current in between these two parameters this this part of a region <coughs> so after pn junction diode and the gener diode the next very important part is rectification 
so in uh, most of the electronics equipment uh, instruments they are operating using dc voltage and what we are getting from the electrical station they are in ac okay and to convert ac to dc we need one process that is called as a rectification or rectifier circuit so rectification or rectifier circuit is used to convert ac voltage to dc voltage high level voltage to low level voltage and in this case diode is used as a switch on off switch in rectification part diode is a very important role rectifier is one of the important application of the diode and depends on the or based on the number of diodes used number of diodes used so we are classified the rectification in three types half wave rectifier using single diode full wave rectifier using two diodes then bridge rectifier using four diodes